Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. No, wait, not so much a walkthrough part as it is the Mo Show. Yes. So, in this part, I am going to be going through all of Mo Show dialogue here. So, let's get it going here. It's the Mo Show with me, Mo, and Yowza. Have we got a show for a show tonight? Tonight's guest is the Prince of Puffed Up himself. Staff, come on out here. Starfy, how are you feeling about this adventure? Lay it on us. He doesn't talk. Whoa, what's with the sunglasses? Hey, pretty fancy. Brand new. Fashion designer made him for you. Sheesh. No, not really. I found him in a chest. Oh, forget it. <laughs> you know some... <clears throat> you sound you kind of rock star now. I bet you can't even go outside without getting mobbed by your fans. Hey, just ripping you a starf. And yeah, that's basically what the Mo show is like. And there's a couple of very short episodes just like that one. But there are quite a bunch of those very short episodes. So this could take me a little while to do. And if you're not so keen on the sorts of dialogue, especially since it's not... Um, canon to the game storyline in my opinion because of how out of character characters are uh, even though it's it's gonna be funny like some of them are gonna be funny but if the, if it's not your thing feel free to skip this as it's not gonna be really a part of the gameplay portion of the walkthrough okay okay anyway more mo show it's a mo show with me mo our guest today at Staffy. how are you doing what do you mean I'm not acting like my usual self is weirding you out this is showbiz. I'm the host. I'm supposed to razzle and dazzle him. <laughs> Sheesh, what a clam. What a, what, a clam can't have his own talk show now? Is that it? Oh, I get it. You're thinking you make a better host than me. Oh, getting a little frustrated. It's a Mo show with me, Mo. Today's guest is the pink powder keg, Starly. Say hi, Starly. Pink powder keg? You really know how to talk to a lady, clam. Anyway, I'm Starfy's sister. <clears throat> anyway, I'm Starfy's sister. Hi, everyone! Some people ask me if it's tough being Starfy's sis. And I tell them that, that the toughest part is fighting all the bad guys while Starfy takes naps. I'm the one who protects Puffed Up while he runs around in his crazy adventures. I solve all the puzzles, I do all the fighting, I train all the soldiers, I water the clouds... You what? You have to water the clouds? What? I'm quite a catch. So if every, anyone out there is tall, handsome, and has five arms, let me know. Gah! I just asked you to say hi, not tell us your whole life story. Sheesh! Looks like she took over the show. <laughs> it's the Mo Show, with me, Mo. My voice is probably going to be killed by the end of this part. And it's my pleasure to introduce a good friend, Bunston. Psst, hey, Bunston. Um, may I come out now? Um, hello everybody, I'm Bunston. But I guess Mo already said that. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's okay, Bunston, relax. Tell us a little bit about your powers. Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure how my powers work. In my heart, I just feel whatever Starfy's feeling, and it all just happens somehow. <laughs> it sounds weird, but does that make sense? No, that's not weird. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. Beautiful. <laughs> Mo is quite the character. It's the Mo Show with me, Mo. Today we're going. To who else would it be? Today we're going to get an up adventure update from Bunston. Since meeting you and Starfy, everything has been filled with tons of excitement. Though it's been dangerous, this adventure has been fun. I should fall from other space through rooftops more often. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's a small show with me, Mo. She saves us when we need it. Please welcome the mermaid. Get it saves us when we need it. Saves plus she recovers your health. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you, Mo. I'm sure everyone already knows, but if you need to save your game, come visit me. And besides being such a great help, you're the most popular mermaid around. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Mo, thank you. Thanks to you and Starfy, I've met so many new friends lately. That reminds me, I can't go swimming with you tomorrow. Mo, I'm meeting her man for lunch. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's a Mo show with me, Mo, and look at that, it's her man. This is kind of why I wanted to do them all in one part as well, because they sort of like continue on from one to the other in their uh, progression and whatnot. Anyway, today's guest isn't shy about coming out of a shell, Herman! I hear you've got some pet fish, Herman. Tell us a little about that. There aren't just any pet fish, man. My adorable little guild friends are champion, purebred coddies. I've heard rumors of a rare breed of coddy that lives somewhere deep in the forest, man. I've been trying to find it, but then I worry that my precious coddies will get jealous. <laughs> Oh no! No, not Globerto! 
Thay's guess is the very smart, very distinguished Globerto. Then again, he might actually say something new, so let's give him a chance. Ah, greetings, Mo. What a pleasure to be on this quaint little show you have. Let me see where on the map we are right now. I came from over there, and Mo is here. J Globerto, you gotta put the map down sometimes. I'm right here. Sheesh, guy really loves his maps. No, didn't really have anything be interesting to say. <laughs> As expected. To spice things up on the show today, we've invited Kitfish! Mm -hmm. Glad to be here, Mo. I'd like to say hi to my father, Fat Cat, out there watching. That's right, I forgot how close you two are. It's really great to have a family like that. My family and I don't travel all that much, but when we do, it's lots of fun. My sister wants to get all together, get us all together again, but they drive me crazy sometimes. <laughs> Well, I learned a lot about Mo today. Thanks for having me on your show, Mo, I guess. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't really hear all that much about Kit there. It's a Mo show with me, Mo. Today is a special show because we've got my little siblings here. Yo, Mo, we gotta tell you all... Uh, tell you that we're doing all our chores while we're, go we're gone. Our rooms are clean, we did laundry and dusting, and I even made us dinner. Yeah, you can just keep going on adventures with Starfy and his friends. Don't worry about us. Look at Mo. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet, guys. Wait a second. You haven't been cleaning my room, have you? You stay away from my video games. I better not see a single clam print on them. <laughs> oh, it's Mini G. Anyone like mini games? Then welcome today's guest, Mini G. Mini G, I hear that you're always offering new mini games. How true is that? Absolutely true, Mo. The more you find me, the more games you get to play. What a deal! Actually, that's not entirely true. You max out at five mini games, and I even question how many mini games of those five you actually have. Like, I know you have three mini games, but those other two are in the menu, in the case more specifically. So I'm not really sure if they're your mini games. So you max out at three, as far as I can tell. <laughs> So I can someone find our audience uh, from our audience find you to play these fantastic mini games. Mo, oh, I'm so glad you asked. My mini game hideouts are in treasure chests all over Puff Top. What? How, how do you hide entire mini games and areas inside small treasure? Or forget? Uh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Shouldn't question the game logic. I should know better. Okay, it's, everything's fine, the universe didn't implode, okay. Convenient locations, courteous staff, why play your minigames anywhere else? Sounds great, Mini G. Thanks, I'll be sure to visit you soon. And cut. <laughs> Was that good? Yeah? Thanks for letting me do a minigames commercial. Mo. Now I gotta go help Starfy. Or Starly. She's getting trounced on Dumpling Master. See ya! Okay. <laughs> That's a one player game, how can he help her? Well, maybe it is her game. I mean, maybe it is Mini G's game. If he's going to help her on that, I don't know. <laughs> one, two, one, two, hep po, hep po, let's go. What's, who's that, huh? Are we on the air? It's a Mo Show, with me, Mo, and here's Fat Cat. Hep ho, 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 sorry, I was just doing a little practice off stage. You're really getting into sumo wrestling, eh? How is it? Have you had any matches yet? Not yet. Nobody wants to wrestle me. How about you, Mo? Quick match? Wait, didn't Starfy map? Uh, this is probably before they met. Kind of, maybe, could be. Who, me? Ah, oh, no, sorry. I can't sumo wrestle since I pulled my uh, 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 lower shell thingy. <laughs> Got an injury back in shell elementary school. Sorry. No one wants to wrestle me? Oh well. I guess I'll just keep wrestling myself. Ooh! What, how do you wrestle your. Oh, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't ask. Let's get a whoa here on the Fork Show. It's me, Fork. And today we're... Now you hold on there, Fork! I'm the host, and I'll do the introducing, thank you. Hey, hey, settle down, clam pops. We need some fresh energy here. Not the same old mole show. Uh-oh, we got someone trying to take over the show. So I'll be the host today. And we're doing most of... And I'll be doing most of the talking. Oh, and we need to change the name. How about Fork Rocks? I've had, always wanted to have to rock and have my own show. Now I get both. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Get off the stage, Fork! <laughs> it's the Mo Show with me, Mo. Today we got the old man with all the answers, Old Man Lobber, and also the greatest fighter in all the land. Well, maybe second to, to Starfy because Starfy defeated him, but Starfy can't entirely defeat him because you can just keep battling him infinitely, so maybe he is the best fighter. Hmm. It's debatable. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on the show, Mr. Lobber. Ooh, please call me old man. My father is Mr. Lobber. 
That's weird. So all clam fan mail I ask gets the same thing. Uh, who is really behind the bad guys? Oh, uh, sure you want to know who the last boss is, is that right? Hmm, I wonder who the last, last boss is. <laughs> Uh, my friend, there's something that you're just gonna have to find out on your own. Look at all, look, he's got the water droplets of nervousness on there. <laughs> he's trying to hide that. He's the last boss. And see, if I showed this earlier, I wouldn't have been able to, to, to put that into context. And that's why, that's again why I wanted to do this all in one part uh, after the main game was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know that much. But come on, why don't you just, just give us a little hint? I reckon I could tell you, but then I'd have to make a soup out of you. <laughs> he most certainly could make a soup out of Mo. <laughs> it's the hot spring snapper. <laughs> boss 2 the, at the hot chest, I mean the boss, second boss, you know, at the hot chest springs. Today we've got the hot chest spring boss, the hot spring snapper. Oh, thanks for show Mo, thanks for show Mo. Oh, okay, sorry about defeating you earlier. You, you're not still mad about that, are you? Not mad, not mad. Clam bake, clam bake. Roar! Er, that's all for now on the Mo Show. Roll the credits! Hurry! <laughs> Roar! Eat Mo! Eat Mo! <laughs> well, I don't know. It does sound like he might still have a grudge, or maybe he's just hungry. One of the two, or perhaps both. <laughs> I'm really excited about our guest today. Welcome, boss. Hey, yo! Remember that? <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, that was weak. Try it again, Mo. And really put your shell into it like this. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> now, that's a little much. Now, I bet that was loud enough for all the people watching the show at home to hear. Yeah, I think all three. <laughs> hey, what do you mean all three people? Oh, it's a joke. Hey, yo! <laughs> Today we've got one of the squirts with us, squirt number one. Do people really call you squirt number one or is that more of a nickname? Fish. Let's take a break before the audience falls asleep. No more squirts on the show. <laughs> I love that one. Get some more. Today we're here with the Smarty Pants squirt, squirt number two. He th I thought he said no more squirts on the show. What? What? That's all right, Mo. See, people think if you're a comedian, that's all you do. Not true. I read a lot, I like sports. Oh, did I mention I'm also a fantastic athlete? I love math, I cook. Also a noted poet. I do a lot of medical research and I dance. Thanks for asking. Uh, actually, I didn't get a chance to ask anything. You're also really humble too, huh? Sheesh. And that's the end of the show. <laughs> no, there's more. And today we're lucky enough to have more another squirt. <laughs> Squirting around with squirt number three. Thanks for having me, Mo. I'm a big, big fan of your show. Big fan. Oh, thanks. So you're uh, second in command, squirt, right? What's that like? So squirt number three is second in command. I guess their numbers are not related to their rank. Well, boss made me as number two, which makes me the leader of the squirts when he's gone. But I don't know. I don't think the other squirts are listening. They kind of treat me like a sidekick. Alza, I know what you mean. Don't you hate it when someone gets credit for your great ideas? <laughs> Are oh, really scared, shaking inside your shell, and someone else gets all the attention for being brave. Sounds like you and I have a lot in common. And it sounds like me and a certain five armed prince need to have a little one on one chat. And somehow Starfy got in trouble with that. <laughs> Another squirt, and thank you for coming on the show today. Squirt number four. Hey Mo, thanks a lot. What a show. What an audience. Hey, you folks from out of town? Uh, 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 we don't really do a lot of audience interaction on a show here. Squirt number four. Oh, a tough room, eh? That's alright. That's because there's only three viewers. No. <laughs> I'm a professional. I know how to make them laugh. Did I tell you folks I'm on a seafood diet? I eat everyone, everything I see. Cricket sounds. Tumbleweed rolls past. How about you, Mo? You like seafood? I like seafood. I am seafood! That's my best breeze sound in the background for 
complete silence from the audience. Good night, folks. Thank you. <laughs> and squirt number five, the secret squirt. And today we're here with the most secretive squirt of all, squirt number five. Yeah, I'm secret. So what, Clam? I'm mysterious too. Got a problem with that? What is this? Uh, no, no problem. I just bring people on my talk show and ask them questions. I know what a talk show is. What do you think? I'm secretive and stupid too? Is that it? You know, if you got a problem, we can settle this outside or underwater, wherever. You name the time and place and I'll name myself squirt number five. What? Why? Huh? Eh? But he's already named squirt number five. Oh, forget it. I miss squirt number four. <laughs> Oh, gelato sisters. Today we're excited to welcome a frosty daring gelato sister. Beep, sorry I'm late. Ran into a bunch of babes in Owen over in Chili Dip Cove. Hope the weather here isn't too chilly for you, babe. What, me? Oh yeah, it's a little cold, I guess. Um, is babe some sort of gelato slang? Babe, come on, babe, really? Gelato slang? It's gelato life. We're all babes here, babe. I would love to keep talking with you. I'm going to need some help. Translator! Translator! <laughs> cut! Cut! Next roll. And today we're talking talk, talk with Jill Dipko of favorite sister, Piplion. Thanks, Mo. I didn't know you had your own talk show. Actually, I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> Again, hinting that he's got no viewers. I want to gift the, as a token of my appreciation. It's a homemade snow cone from Chili Dip Cove. Hey, thanks. I'll just... Hey, wait a sec. What do you mean no one knows about my show? Who else has their own? Alright, what's that? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Starfy, what do you think crashing like that? We're still doing a show. Well, it looks like Starfy and Stalley are on today's show too. It looks like I'm out of the one snow cone. <laughs> I guess they fell on the cone and just didn't happen on the screen there or something. I don't know. And I guess love snacks and naps. It's Pelplion, of course. Are you alone over there, Mo? No, I'm not alone. You're here too. Why are you talking so softly? Are you scared of something? Oh, uh, King Ping's minions are always trying to take my snacks, so I have to watch out constantly. Well, it looks like the coast is clear. Ooh, I can finally eat. Hurt, hurt. <laughs> Starlax sounds. Now, nah, wait, what's that? Oh no, it's King Ping's minions. Help! I mean, oh, oh, wrong person. Oh no, it's King Ping's minions. Help, oh, run! Somebody call the snack, please! Somebody do something! Looks like Pup Lion left the snacks behind. <laughs> That's all for the mole show. And I, no, no, no. And he took the snacks too. It's like everyone's after Pup Lion's snacks, including Mo. Well, he's more. Mo is more of an opportunist than a uh, uh, thief. Well, then again, that could also be considered theft, because you know he would come back for his snacks, and if they weren't there, yeah. Anyway, mm, today we have the old bushy stage of Solgwood Forest. Old Man Vern. He asked me to call you Bushy, so I went with it. Same thing, Old Man Labber wanted me to call him. Ah, so you met the old Cooked Labber, have you? Oh yeah, him and I go way back. Oh, you two knew each other when you were two, when you were younger? No, we knew each other when we were older, Mo. <laughs> oh, I love that one. Oh, that dry sarcasm never gets old. Huh? Trust me, I'm laughing on the inside of my shell. Mm, please help me welcome today's guest ninja, Shurikat! We're getting into world, um, I mean, uh, um, stage five, is it? Yeah, five, wait, four, five. Well, I don't know, I'm not sure. Oh, thank you, Mo. I've trained m much in order to make my treacherous journey to the show. I've traveled over the highest hill, the steepest mountains, and the deepest seas. I have seen. Um, sure, kid, I hate to interrupt you, but it looks like there's something moving in your robe. What? That? Oh, that's just. <laughs> that's my bunch of kitties I keep for company. <laughs> Right, so you went over the hills, mountains, and seas with the kitties there the whole time? Um, sure, they're uh, traveling kitties. Right now, they're telling me to travel out of here. See ya! Oh, well, that was a quick appearance. Oh, it snips before she was turned good. Uh, today's guest is the leader of the certain terrible trio, Snips, and she is ticked off like you wouldn't believe. Why'd you drag me here? You got a lot of nerve, Clam. I gotta wait. Uh, uh, are we in the air right now? Yes, everyone at home can see you. Don't worry, we'll let it out your tantrum later. Yeah, right. <laughs> so how long have you been the leader of your little baddies trio? Uh, we've been together a while. I went to Batty Community College with Ronk. That was, that's where we met. There's a college for bad guys? What? Is that where Jesse and James and Meowth went to and Pokemon? Oh, forget it. Perhaps Peeps and I traveled with the carnival uh, for a few summers, which we become great friends. They're best baddies anyway. anyway 
We could have hoped for. I'm sorry, turn off the camera. Yes. This has been a very special episode of the Mo Show. Let me get get you a tissue snips. <laughs> they really do like each other. Aww. Mm, today's guess is that big brawny baddie brawler wrong. Oh, uh, where's snips? Where's papes? What'd you do with them? Nothing. Uh, they're back in the dressing room, Ronk. You're by yourself right now. Is that okay? See what I mean about this being rather out of character for these guys, which is probably why this stuff... I mean, which makes me think this isn't canon with the uh, uh, actual storyline of the game and whatnot. I mean, they, did, they do reference stuff in the game, obviously. Like uh, the, hot, the Hot Spring Snapper getting beat and apparently not having hard feelings despite wanting to eat mole. But, <laughs> but yeah, you get what I'm saying here, I think. Uh, wrong. You're by yourself right now. Is that okay? I mean, come on. A huge guy like you doesn't need friends around all the time, does he? Eh, right. I get nervous. Uh, I like to pound things. Snips tells me what to pound, so I don't hurt nobody. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. relax. Just remember, don't pound walls or doors or clams. Hey, hey, Snips, you wanna get in here? Snips, Papes, a little help! <laughs> hey, there's Papes. There we have to remember that baddie trio, it's Papes! What's going on? Why'd you haul me in here? You can't do this, I have my rights! Oh, I'm my lawyer! <laughs> oh, uh, relax, Papes. You're not in trouble or anything, you're just on my talk show. Talk show, eh? Uh, good luck with that. You wanna get anything on me, Mo? I'll never talk! It's like an interrogation. <laughs> uh, what's that? You hear that? Sounds like it's coming this way! What's going on? Oh my god! Sounds like scary. Wailing. Okay, I'll talk. Just make it stop. Ask me anything. Anything! Hyperventilating. Okay, I'm, I'm calling, I'm calling. Excuse me, have you seen? Oh, hello everybody. Hey, I'm on the Mo Show again. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Jerry Kid, what are you doing here? I, um, was pretending that I lost my kitties as a ninja training exercise. Yes, that's it. That, that's it. Um, bye. This is turning weird. Well, I was writing him random and totally distracting. Uh, I deserve a new contract. Good night, folks. <laughs> Wait, it's his show. And he's asking for a new contract. Maybe he's... Maybe it's like a part of a network or something like that that gets zero viewers. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, who, like, who... If it was a part of a network, who would sign someone that's terribly... Like, not going to get views or anything like that because the network needs the views for the cash to keep the network running and oh forget it just look not don't question the game logic or emotional logic or network logic yeah next show <laughs> it's a mo show with me mo today's guest is shurikit's ninja classmate welcome katana whoa let's get something straight shurikit and i might be classmates but we're rivals too rivals really i thought shurikit was on a much higher level in ninja training he certainly helped us a lot with his mirror image rule have you seen him do that it's amazing what uh, you mean sure it gets mastered the mirror image move? Wow. I mean, uh, so what? That's no big deal. I can do the mirror image, image move with my eyes closed. He's already got one closed. I'll oh, forget. <laughs> That's fine, Katama. I believe you. So long, long have you... No, no, let me show you. Here we go. Okay, uh, um... Let me think for a second. Okay. Mirror image move! Success! Huh? Uh, Mo? We're going to have to tuck take a break. But when we come back, I'll see if Katana is in one piece. <laughs> I, I think he transformed Mo or something. I don't know what happened there, in all honesty. And okay, now we're getting into Cloud Town. It's a Mo show with me, Mo. Let's give a warm welcome to today's lovely guest, Ruby, from the Sky Die Heights. I just added that in. Well, thank you, Mr. Mo. It sure is a pleasure to be on here on this adorable show you have. So tell us about your new. Uh, you're beautiful, Ruby. <laughs> I mean. Uh, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> oh, Mo, your shell is blushing. That's so cute. Since we're talking, I'll tell you about a new hobby of mine. I've been doing my own nails lately. Here, look. See how nice and sparkly my fin is? Isn't it great? See, Mo? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, Ruby, and I are holding hands. <laughs> well, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Holding hands. She has fins. He doesn't seem to have hands. Or fins. Well, I guess he's got sort of a fin because clams move by propelling themselves with like opening and closing. But yeah, they they don't have hands either of them. I I don't think. I'll oh, forget it. 
Um, Mo, are you okay? You feel a little clammy. Is something wrong? That actually sounds normal for Mo. <laughs> um, I, no, 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 nothing's wrong. Hey, um, let's uh, go to a um, <clears throat> commercial. Yeah, that's it. God! Next show. Herbert. It's an old show with me. Oh, today's guest is Herbert the Hermit Crab. Looking good, Herb. Thank you, Mo. I was noticing quite a unique shine on my shell today, too. Nice to be here. My brother Herman is here too, visiting all the way from Glug Glug Lagoon. Your brother? Well, where is he? Let's bring him out and say hi. There he is. Oh, no man, please, that's crazy. Please hold your applause. I I don't think anyone is clapping, actually. After you are, we can't really hear them anyway. <laughs> it's not, not filmed in front of a live studio audience. The applause is all inside this, his swallowed Hermit Crab's head. <laughs> Of course they're clapping. Why else would they be doing when I appear? What else would they be doing when I appear? Are you insane? That applause isn't for you. It's for me. I'm the guest on today's show. Um, not exactly. That wasn't the intent. Um, I'll let you guys sort out who the imaginary applause is for. Good night, you real people out there. <laughs> Big bilge monkeys. Now we're out in World Seven dialogue stuff. Yeah, as I said, th these sorts of things unlock as you go through. Uh, the game, like, uh, this, this Mo show, the Bilge Monkeys, wouldn't appear until you meet the Bilge Monkeys, the same with Herbert, and yeah, all, all the other characters that you meet. Uh, anyway, let's show with me Mo, today we have those sunken ship scavengers, the Bilge Monkeys. You sure you want us on our show? We are Andrea family friendly, or didn't you know that? Just don't bite anyone and we'll be fine. I hear your fellas just got, uh, quite a lot of treasure, do tell. Oh yeah, Mega Snock swallowed a treasure chest up hole. So we're trying to track it down. Uh oh. Yeah, so what's that more, matey? That's gonna leave a mark. But you're one, that's what you get for blabbing about our treasure anyways. It must have been close to 10,000 pearls in that chest, and I don't want anyone to know about it. Wow, 10,000 pearls! I saw a chest overflowing with pearls over in Chili Dip Cove, and I, I could use that that chest instead of grinding for pearls to get all the stuff in Mo's shop and ah, I think I do it first I'm freaking out. I knew it chilly get the cove here you here you are wasting all our time and get some grotto yeah let's go see ya fellas oh, I was joking about chilly dip cove maybe I should have said that first and for a thousand ten thousand pearls I think I'm gonna have to sleep if I can find anything and get some grotto myself and thus competition starts <laughs> Today's guest is Moto, the dragon from planet Bonera. Thank, thanks for the way you helped us back there on Bonera, sir. We really owe you one. And again, you wouldn't see Moto on the show or this particular show until you see Moto way, way over at 10 dash, I mean, not 10 dash 2, 8 dash 2, excuse me. No, oh, it is I who owe you. Bonera is safe now, thanks to you, Starfy and Bunston. How has Bunston been getting along with pa rocks, monk, paper, and papes, and snips? Are they playing nice? Oh, sure. No speak very fondly of the adventures they had with you and Starfy. Oh, maybe this is post-game, actually, uh, based on the way that this dialogue is. So maybe it's not when you meet him in 8-2. Hmm. Prince Bunsen has actually, has actually picked up some of your little sayings, Mo. Sheesh. It seems to be his personal favorite lately. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> but he wanted to put sheesh power on the Banarian flag. I had to vote against that. I agree. That doesn't sound all that catchy. <laughs> And it's Junior, his son, Moto-san. Today we're, we have Moto-sons. Everyone remember Junior. Hey, Mo, nice to see you again. I can't believe you have your own show. Hello, Banera. Uh, we've been really busy lately repairing, repairing the Cosmic Express and fixing the damage Math Smash Tooth did. Was that when I purposefully destroyed the train to demonstrate how the train destroyed? Oh, I'm so sorry. We made some modifications since we were working on it anyway. We figured we'd spruce it up a bit. Really? Did you add a warp drive to it? Oh wait, I know you put in a super plasma cannon, right? No, oh, no, 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 wait. You put gold rims on the sides and some nice oak panels, paneling siding, yeah? Nope, none of those. We put a soda pop machine in a caboose. Yes! Yes! That blows away all of Mo's stuff. Um, I mean, Mo's suggestions and ideas. I love my soda pop. Mmm, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Where is Mo? Mo, are you Mo? You? It's Mash Tooth! <laughs> it's Hot Spring Snapper! How do you get in here? Security, help! No, it, it doesn't even look like the Hot Spring Snapper at all. It's a dragon thing, not a turtle. You didn't invite me on your show. 
Why not? Why not? Time to eat more. Time to eat more. Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna be on the show, promise. Here, let me ask you a question. Why did no questions only eat? No questions only. <laughs> wait a second. I know that voice. That's no hot spring snapper. I guess that's Starfy appearing on the scene to save Mo. <laughs> well, um, looks like our cover's blown. Better get out of here, Starf. You guys, wait till I get my hands on you. Or, I mean, my shell on you. You better run! Yeah, I guess they are in disguise as Mashtooth just to scare Mo. Banarian Soldier! Today's guest is a proud defender of Banaria. A Banarian Soldier! Oh, hold on a sec. Are you okay? You, you look pretty banged up. Can I help you somehow? Uh, no, I, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle when I was playing hide and seek with Prince Bunsen. He's good. Wow. That. Whew, that that sounds like one really intense game of hide and seek. Let me tell you. <laughs> I fell pretty hard but on the ground. I found this beautiful flower and wrote a poem about it. Sensitive, vulture riding soldiers. That's great. Now nah, I've seen everything. Super sheesh. Yep, he does lo definitely love using sheesh. Now, uh, Puff Top Guard. Today's guest keeps us all safe. It's the Puff Top Guard. So tell us a bit about what Starfy does from day to day. The prince's daily life, you say? Uh, uh, well, let me see. First he gets up and eats a late breakfast. Then he takes a nap before he goes out to play. Then he takes a second nap. And then he eats lunch. Then it's another nap. Wait, that's basically all sleeping and eating. Doesn't Starfy do anything else? Oh, uh, yes, uh, lately he's been using the story option to look back at all of his adventures. Then he, there he can relieve, uh, relive his memories with you and Prince Bunston. He never gets tired of looking at it. Mm, donk! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> at last, I found you, Gonk! Wait a Gonk second! You're not Starfy, Gonk! You're that Gonk clam! <laughs> Hey, hey, we're trying to do the Mo show with me. With me, Mo. You can't just barge in here like this. I like how he repeated himself in a... Like, you know how he always intros with... It's the Mo show with him, Mo. Like, he just threw it in there and he just kind of put it in there in a clever way. Anyway, you can't just barge in here like this. Jalal's sister, sister said, Gonk! That you and Starfy always stick together. Gonk! I want his Gonk autograph. So I can... So I want the Puff Top. Gonk! Like, autograph! I thought you were his rival. See what I mean about not being canon, in my opinion. But Starfleet, but Starfleet didn't know who he was either. Did you conk? Did, I mean, did you know conk? Where I can find Starfy? Conk, conk. Brother, I feel your pain. Conk. Wait, nothing I ever conk. I mean, nothing has ever conk easy in this. I'm starting to mess up the dialogues because of the conks. Now you've got me conk doing it. It's pretty conktagious. I mean, contagious conk, conk, conk. <laughs> Yeah, I have that effect on people. I don't know why. Conk. Okay, I'm done with him. I'm so glad I'm done with him. Mmm, <laughs> and yowza, have we got a show tonight. Today's guest is the Prince of Top. Wait a second, are we done? Tuffy, how are you feeling about this adventure? Lay it on us. Oh, uh, what's with the sunglasses? Yep, we're done. We're done with the Mo show. Yep, they repeat in circles from here on out. They don't really give you an indication on when it ends until you reach... Um, until you reach something that looks familiar to you and then you know, and this was the first one we've seen, and thus we know we have seen them all. So, there we go. You have seen the Mo Show. Now, I know I didn't show you the toys. In fact, there are uh, still toys to buy with the pearls, but you know how to grind for pearls by now. If you want to get the toys, you just got to keep going to this machine, keep trying to get... Uh, toys from the machine and yeah, just keep just keep going over and over and over until you get the toys I would show you all the dialogue the toys have but I already showed you the Mo show and Yeah, I'd, I'd like to sh keep stuff for you to discover on your own especially since this sort of thing I can't really uh, help you with other than just you know Just telling you to grind for pearls if you need them go here get some uh, um, toys hope that you get new toys and then eventually your collection will be complete. Mine isn't because I didn't feel like grinding, so yeah. <laughs> Besides, as I said, it doesn't really help you showing you um, what all these toys are, but if you click on them, you get a little dialogue from Mo here on the top screen. Tattletog, you don't want to see this face coming speeding towards you. 
A Tattletalk? Who would give their kids these names? <laughs> Well, just blaming the game designers, but yeah, all these have their own dialogue of Moe's. But since you've seen the Moe show, and I, as I said, I'd like to leave you for uh, for you to discover on your own, so you can do the toys on your own. Plus, I'm a little bit lazy for grinding things. <laughs> anyway, let's check out the, the ones that I have just for kicks. These guys can toss their apples from afar and run up for a close attack. Either way, those apples aren't delicious. They're poisonous. Big difference. By the way, I clicked on the top screen and it still worked. I guess it does recognize um, clicks, whether you're inside or outside the screen, uh, just as long as you're in the window. It's kind of interesting Not only, uh, for this emulator. Oh, that was a Pikmin song. Listen. So I guess it's here too, on top of being at um, Sky Die Heights. Spine Belly. I mean, Spine Belly. He's got a nasty little habit of shooting spines from his mouth. Two questions. Where does he keep them all? And, oh no, that's my only question. <laughs> I should have thought that the one through a little bit better. Um, nothing. Bully Goat. Bully Goat, be careful if you run into this guy. He's quite the, a powerful foe. This fearsome beast loves to drop explosive mines on you and yours. Uh, those are mines? They look like snowflakes. I've went through that before. I guess they're mines. Don't question it, I suppose. And, uh, uh, that's all for Puff Top. World 10, friends, didn't get anything there. And we're back to the start. And anyway, it looks like I have completely cleared out the game, except for getting the toys, which I already explained to you that, uh, it, this is actually really similar to, um, the Kirby 64 cards, and that the only way you'll be able to get them all is if you just keep chugging away at getting toys from the uh, from the machine. And you know, in Kirby 64, you just have to keep beating levels to get cards. This one's a little bit easier. You can grind for pearls in 8-4, like I showed you in the other parts. And yeah, so it looks like this walkthrough is finally concluded. Oh, this was a fun one, and I hope I did this game justice because. I really like this game, and I hope more Starfy games um, get localized so I can play them, <laughs> and so other people can play them as well. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's all for this walkthrough. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough.